request for an ankle pick uh, on the feet, so we're going to take a look at that. That's typically, for me, I use it more in the gi than I do no, or excuse me, I use it more no gi than I do gi. So it's going to depend on first getting inside control grips. Just a sort of a side tip for you guys that are like working on your takedowns and not really sure where to start. A really good spot, guys, whether you're in gi or no gi, is to control the inside. So if I'm in gi, I'm grabbing the, the collars here and the wrists. Same thing in the gi, and the no gi, I'm getting on the inside here, not letting this person get on the inside here, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a collar and arm tie. When I get this collar tie, guys, you don't grab the neck, like, so, come around here real quick, Brian. So we're not gonna just, like, cup the neck. I take my hand and I snake it around, and it's, you can take your fingers and typically you can get it right to that muscle there. It's all snake around here, boom. Now, on the other side, it's not just here. I bring my elbow in, and this helps me control the inside, right? Which is really important. On this side, we're just spinning around, okay? I'm here, I go down, and I grab the wrist. Now, here's a small detail for you. A lot of people end up grabbing the forearm and the hand and stuff like that. Just take your middle finger and your thumb, right there. It'll, it'll find its spot. You just literally take it, grab it, slide it down, and that'll give you a grip right where the Chad's got his little bone, his like wrist is right here, is the joint, and we can get almost all the way around there. And now we just let the other hands, the other fingers fall wherever they might. Now we're right here. We're gonna be head to head. Now, what I'm gonna be working on is keeping this arm down and I'm trying to get this foot to step forward. Okay, and likewise, I'm gonna switch my stance a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna be working. Now, we never step back. If I just step back, he drives into me, okay? You become flat footed. So again, we're gonna be in our stance here. We're gonna be moving to the side, moving to the side, circling. Boom and then getting ourselves positioned. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get him to step forward on this, this foot and then mirror him. The way that we're gonna get him to step forward, first off, we're head to head, okay? I'm going to circle, boom, and get him to step. From here I can drop down, grab the ankle, drive forward, boom, pull the ankle. Now you've gotta be careful in wrestling, you would leave it, you can hang on the head all you want to. In Jiu Jitsu you've gotta be careful because what'll happen is you'll get this crunch and you get arm barred, okay? So once, once their butt hits the mat, you let that arm come back to a good position. So again, we're working on the inside tie, okay? Grabbing around, keeping the elbow in tight so he can't fight with the inside control himself because if he tries to, we can turn it in like this. Likewise, my hand goes around and I slide it down to the wrist here. Now I need to get that foot to step forward. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna circle, give him a little tug on his arm. Now look where I'm holding the hand. I'm holding it down as far as I can. So this way the switch is very minimal. Grab, boom, pull in. And then from there, depending on what happens, the position can be different. Um, but we just want to bring our arms in tight, whether we end up in guard or open. So a bunch of you guys are asking for the ankle pick, and that's a very basic ankle pick that you can use in no gi.